We're continuing to follow the very latest developments this morning on the search for 10-month-old Lisa Irwin. The search is now entering its fourth day. Our own Banyan Lee has been covering this investigation since Lisa was reported missing. She joins us now live again from the family's home. And Banyan, what is the latest? Well, day four of the investigation into missing 10-month-old Lisa Irwin has taken some dramatic changes, and the scene out here looks dramatically different as well. We have Captain Steve Young here with the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department to talk with us about where everything stands. Yesterday, um, you said that parents have stopped cooperating. Can you talk a little bit about what happened? Well, I can't go into the details of it, but it was very clear that they were through talking with us at the time. And how has that changed what's happening out here in the near the home? Well, you know, we uh, closed down the command post, but that's based only on the fact that we believe we've done everything we can geographically with a search area, canvas, those kind of things. Uh, but we still have had officers and detectives uh, available 24-7 overnight for uh, tips and leads, and we're still doing that. You know, you said before that in, in an investigation like this, parents play a crucial role in in trying to figure out what happened. What does this mean for detectives, and where does everything go from here? Well, it's not a step in the direction we wanted to go. There's no doubt about that. Our main goal, as you might imagine, is just to find this child, um, and we, we think their involvement is, is, is the best bet for us. Do you have hope that they might turn around and come back and talk a little bit more? I mean, how do you handle this? Well, when I snuck home for a little while last night, I saw their statement on the news, and I was very glad to see that. Um, can you talk a little bit about the cell phone issue yesterday? Uh, Jeremy said that the cell phones were taken. Uh, what do you? What kind of information do you have on that? Well, uh, obviously we haven't really been able to develop any great leads from that. But uh, you know, I know that three cell phones were taken from the home. That's the information that the family told us. But uh, beyond that, it really hasn't turned into much for us. Cell phone pings. You know, I can't get into the details of the investigation, but again, uh, I challenge anybody to try to think of something we haven't done. Okay, and any more tips in the overnight hours? You know, they did have a few phone calls, but really nothing that they could take any action on. But, uh, you know, we're still wide open. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Captain Young. And uh, we are expected to get a statement from Lisa Irwin's parents, Deborah Bradley and Jeremy Irwin. Yesterday, uh, some family members came out and adamantly denied police comments that they are not cooperating. Uh, so we will bring you the latest on that throughout the morning. Again, 10-month-old Lisa Irwin, blonde hair, blue eyes, 26 to 30 pounds. If you have any information on this case, you're asked to call the TIPS hotline. That number, again, is 816-474. TIPS. Reporting live, Bonnie Lee, KCTV 5 News.